Welcome back, College Baseball Central fans. We're back for another preseason preview. Welcome back, fellas. I'm joined today by Noah Darling and Jake McKeever. Well, we're going to get the show started here. So our we, we rank all the teams here. So those of you who have not watched one of our preview shows, we start with 13, and we're going to go down all the way to one here for the Big 12 since there's 13 teams now. Moving on to another team that has had some tough sledding, mostly because they've been picked apart by some of these bigger teams and taken some of their transfer players. Kansas. Number 10, we have them here set at number 10. This is a team that I feel like could be 13 or they could jump up to six, but this is not a team that's going to compete for the title. Noah, what do you like about this Kansas team? Well, the Kansas staff told us that they're f big fans of the depth that they have on the mound now, and I think a big part of that is is Dominic Vagley coming through. He's a freshman, big arm. He had the opportunity to go pro. He was drafted kind of late by the Diamondbacks. He was the only D-back draft pick that did not sign with Arizona. He's going to be big time for him. He's a freshman. Don't really know how he's going to use how they're going to use him out of the year, but later on, I expect him to be starting. And it's going to be a name that are that people who are fans of these teams who are trying to get to the NCAA tournament will be saying, "Who is this Dominic guy, and why is he costing us the opportunity to either sneak in or maybe host?" This is a Kansas team last year that took a series from West Virginia before it was cool, before West Virginia was falling apart. So they have that ability to pick teams apart. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Dan Fitzgerald. I don't know if this is going to be the year where they get in that mix of the top six or seven, but they're going to be a stingy, stingy team like we saw shades of last year. But this year, I expect them to take a few series that we don't expect them to. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Shojanaga, Cody. That kid can rake from Hawaii. He he has a real talent there. Uh, coming off a freshman campaign where he was straight fire. Chase Johns also 10 home runs. 314. I think that they are going to get a little mix of offense, but they're going to have a lot of pitching. Uh, I think that this is a team that you're going to see holding teams down to three, four runs in that Big 12 conference, which is really tough to do. Jake, anything to add on this Kansas ball club? I think this is the first year we've been doing this preview show where I actually kind of feel like Kansas can kind of be something. And <laughs> it'll be interesting to see kind of how their expectations. But again, I feel like they're a lot better than the, the squad we saw in 2023. And I think that they have the talent to kind of be in you know, that best of the rest Big 12 conversation. I agree. I think that they do compete this year. I do like what this Kansas ball club is doing, but they're, there's a lot of stuff. There's a big road ahead of them, right? There's a lot of obstacles ahead of them that are really good. If they can pitch like we believe that they can, they can compete for that, you know, top six, seven spots in there and uh, maybe give some people some trouble, like Noah said, down in the tournament and maybe host some people, hold some people out of making the big tournament. 